Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 19th of 2021. Well, it is titled Central Lagoon in infrared. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the Lagoon Nebula, which is a nearby star forming region. And normally when we look at it, we see a lot of dust and we do see some dust here. However, if we could compare the two images, we would see that there is far less dust here than in the a typical visible light image. And that's because this is taken in the infrared part of the spectrum using Hubble Space Telescope. Infrared wavelengths are a little bit longer than ordinary visible wavelengths. And of course, our eyes are not sensitive to them, but we can have detectors that can detect them. And that allows us that longer wavelength is better able to penetrate dust in the interstellar medium. So it gives us a view into the star forming region, meaning that things that are visible here as stars, especially down towards the central core at the center of this image, would not be seen in visible light. And in fact, we're looking at some of these stars towards the center, uh, known as Herschel 36, which is actually a number of stars close together. And typically the larger the larger stars are about 30 times the mass of our sun. Now, at that kind of mass, those stars do not live for a very long time. A star about that massive will live about five million years. And if we compare that to our sun, our sun will live for about 10 billion years. So they do not live for a very long period of time. These are much more massive stars. But while they're more massive and have more fuel, they also go through it at a much faster rate, which means that they quickly live through their lives and die. Now we might not think as 5 million years is a very short time. But when we think about our galaxy being many billions of years old, there has been time for many, many generations of stars like this to have gone through their lives. And in a way, this is where we come from. All of the elements in our bodies were formed from processes like this. So stars that were very massive and formed heavier elements in their core and then exploded as supernovae, which is probably what this star will do in another few million years. And that then spews material enriched in heavier elements, which is anything other than hydrogen or helium. So it includes things like the carbon and iron in our bodies and other materials that make up our Earth here. So oxygen that we breathe could be created in things like this and then expelled out into the universe to form seed material for future generations of stars. So in a way, we've all come from things like this type of star that we're looking at today uh, that was that later exploded and expelled its material back out into space. So that was our picture of the day for March the 19th of 2021. It was titled Central Lagoon in Infrared. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.